like a normal thing. Yeah, that's like something you do all the time in, in uh, Zestiria. It's pretty cool. Hmm, there's a save point here. Fourth stratum, okay. You said a human soul can be reborn as a Moloch given the right trigger, right? Is that something that happens frequently? I'm afraid I don't have an answer for that. Yeah, you can say it's a prequel. It's so like far yeah, beyond, it's, yeah, uh, like it's in, in, the, in the future. It's more like a lore prequel than anything else. I think they talk about the events of this as if it's an ancient lore, basically. So it's not but something that it's hard to remember because we haven't played this story in a while. Easily, ordinarily at least. But Velvet's sister was reborn as Ceres, and her unborn child came back as Lafayette. What are the chances of that? It might not have been chance. They both died on the Scarlet Night. Their rebirths may have been influenced by the sacrificial ceremony. Are you saying that Ignominot made it happen on purpose? Call it an educated guess. But I don't think even an Empyrean can control the lives of humans or Malachim at his whim. If it wasn't chance, it might have been destiny. Velvet said she ate Ceres. Her own sister reborn as a Moloch. How could such a horrible thing be destiny? Sorry. I didn't mean to make light of a tragedy, but our fates intertwine. Yeah, good play this with the controller. We like it or not. That's I could not imagine playing this with a keyboard. True. Yeah, all the but button this, combinations are a bit a hold of yourself, too much. Velvet and Lafayette are in rougher waters than any of us. They'll be looking to you to light their way. Yes, I must remain calm and steady. Knees weak, arm spaghetti. Got vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface, he's calm spaghetti. Alright, dude, you ready for it? About to get crazy. Look, over there. He's nervous. Yeah. <laughs> An earth pulse rift. We may be able to get out from there. One. Arthur, to drop bombs. There's something I'd like to speak to you about. Alone. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. Two souls possessing powerful resonance and free of malevolence. These must be sacrificed on the Scarlet Night. Ah, uh, yes. The ceremony to resurrect... Oh, crowd goes so loud. <laughs> you read my book. Well, there's Lafayette. Yet, the mastered the ancient tongue yet, but I yeah, ancient tongue! Notes. You wrote that if Inominat is resurrected, we can make a world free of demons. Seven years ago, a soul with strong resonance, my own unborn son, was sacrificed for that purpose. Now, you know Minot's resurrection is half complete. He tells fucking Lofty said about this shit, doesn't tell Le Velvet any of this. Everyone's resonance has grown stronger, enabling them to see demons. Yes, that's the truth behind the opening. So, if one more person is sacrificed... You! If you're sacrificed! Nominat's resurrection will be complete. And his power will spur the creation of many new exorcists. And there is another Scarlet Knight very soon. Arthur, I must ask. Lafayette? Can't I be the sacrifice? Oh my god. He requests to be the sacrifice. Tell me, why do you think that birds fly? I don't remember the answer to this. This is like a question he asks everybody. Because they must. Why else would they have wings if not to embrace the sky? I have wings too, weak as they are. That's why I must fly, now! If we miss this Scarlet Knight, the next won't be for another three years. By then, I won't be alive. Luffy said, why would you say such a thing? The twelve year sickness. That's the name of my disease. So you know. Of course he knows. He, he's a dude's genius. Yeah, he's a I'm not afraid of being. 
being sick. But I don't want to just be a burden on everyone until I die. I couldn't take it. Your wings are your will. And they are strong. Lars. Please. You can't tell Velvet about this. I promise. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Oh shit. for we're a family right hurry back i'll make you a quiche just the way she taught me no kidding i think you'll be an exorcist rival even him shut up he fell further than this back at the shrine i will have my revenge revenge for lafisette lafisette knew so much more pain than i ever will and still i do anything for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up! It's a lie! A dirty lie! All of it! It's all damn lies! And I believe it! Die! 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 Ah, fire Venusaur. No. <laughs> what is he weak against? Oh fire. boy. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just double check real quick. What do I got here? What do I got? Here? Okay. It's X. Yeah, it's B. Can't really devour much when you don't have uh Ah oh, that Pokemon. No, oh, you didn't do it during a power hit. Yeah, we're using a Xbox One controller. This is fire. I'm just not doing much. Very weak to martial arts. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, get him now. What? That was that. You're definitely in a power hit. I did way more damage that time. Yeah. Jesus, he fucking just murked everyone.
Yeah, finish him off. Oh, everyone leveled up. Sick. Oh my god, it's her. It's a representation of herself. Saw herself in rags. People. I lie, I cheat, I steal. I lie, I cheat, I steal. What an ugly, tainted soul. It's not like that! Nothing you say will matter. She knows. She knows if it's the truth. He's right. Just think. Everything they did was faceless. Arrogant. That's me. <laughs> you hurt so many innocent people, didn't you? More than I can count. I devoured and killed so many. Without even knowing Arthur's true aims. I destroyed people. I destroyed whole towns. And worse yet. You didn't even show mercy to your own sister's reincarnation. I hate her! And despite all of that, I still love you, Velvet. That's why I chose to become a sacrifice for you, sister. But think, if you try to stop the resurrection, wouldn't my death be all for nothing? To tell you the truth, I was terrified of dying. It was so dark. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You'll accept it then? That everything you've done up until this point, all of it. Yes. It was all for nothing. And for nothing. God dang it, Velvet. I hurt so many people. Mama Sita. For no reason. <laughs> Got that passion is set for long. Both my head is all in love with that Latin charm. If you've accepted it, you have to atone for your sins. This guy's manipulating the fuck out of her right now. I don't know if it's the end of the game. I don't know anything right now. He's just manipulating her so he can get her malevolence. Belong here. She's running out. Oh, okay, well, Velvet's dead body. <gasps> Let me go. We have to go. No! Yeah, love, so let's go. You will die too for no reason. Twisted monster like me doesn't deserve to live. Don't you understand? You're the reincarnation of the first sacrifice. Part of me. Don't worry. I'll devour you too. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Luffy said, tell this self-absorbed idiot what she needs to hear. No oh, shit. Please. Let me go. Will you stop whining? Huh? No, I don't understand. You snap at people. You're scary. You you tried to eat me. But you're also kind. And you're filled with life. I don't understand a single thing about you. Huh. But you gave me a name. 
Saki. He's a fucking badass, dude. dude. He's killing it. Dude, Lop is set. Yo, I'm about to drop a tear from this. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's pretty emotional. I love them all. I loved Loki. Celica. Arthur. Everyone. To have it all stolen from me. Why them? Why not? The acting in this dude, it's fucking top notch. Like it, it's like it's believable, you know. Let's go, fucking Gohan Laffy. A flame burns in my heart too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like. You. Oh, this is the uh, Moloch. Mm -hmm. I finally understand how you felt. But the only one I can fight for is myself. That's good enough. That's proof that you are truly alive. No shit, let's go! I don't. I don't know, man. She attacked that thing, and the was a riff. Was, yeah. I think she made it so that she wouldn't close from that side. We're on hundred and seven. Who was it? hundred and eight. I lost count. Not that I really care. Pathetic fool. Did I not tell you it would require an iron will? as indomitable as the very trees that live and die across millennia. Like you, I suppose. Is that number was that number one or number two or whatever? Number two. That is the foundation of an ideal world, one free from man's sins. An ideal world, huh? You, kid. The boy who was your companion, Lofi said. He's alive. Chasing a terrifying demon girl, he has learned the immensity of the seas and weathered the dry wastes of the land. <sighs> Those people, they're different from us. Despite the pain, the anguish, they embrace the life they've been given. They live undaunted by the ugliness of the world. <gasps> so you're doing this all for them? Is that what this is? <laughs> Not even close. They aggravate me to my wit's end. He did? Uh, hopefully not. I have a feeling they're going to come through that portal here in a second. And fucking what's-her-face is going to just, like, devour Melchior. It's going to be great. 
I can't wait. <laughs> I intend to see how all of this ends. I won't be satisfied until I do. Words bereft of meaning. You truly are my greatest failure. Gosh. Funny just how little I care. No! Please! Bienfu, sacrifice yourself. Oh, that's when she hits the other side of it. Mm-hmm. Let me guess. We came at a good time? You're late. Because of you, I had to have a really boring conversation. So, you came face to face with Inominat. If so, then you must know that your quest for revenge is utterly meaningless. Yeah, I did. I know why sadness fills the world, and I know how deep are the burdens of sin. I tried to abandon my memories of Arthur and Luffy, to cut myself off from it all, and end this tragedy. It's... it's what they would have wanted. Exactly. You do well to know your place. But that's exactly why I can't forgive them. Not Artorius, not Inominat. I know my heart is ugly and full of contradictions, but those days we spent together in familial warmth, they're proof that I, that all of us, were truly alive. That's why, no matter how hard, no matter how sad it gets, I will take my vengeance to the very end! Don't be a fool. Just give up and die like you ought. It is your destiny to wallow in despair. You take my family, turn me into a monster, and you want my soul too. Now who's being the fool? Remember this well. The Lord of Calamity never gives up, not even in the face of death. Have you no shame for your sins, you unholy monster? <laughs> Let me in on this. I lost a She's a little bloody. No, she lost a bit. You sure you can fight in your condition? you'd never ask. I am the dastardly witch Mogilu, scourge of self-righteous exorcists. Now face the wrath of Mogilu Maven! Mm, probably not gonna be in this fight. All of you. Weakness against air. Gotcha. Everyone, sorry to have worried you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed to look at you. Me neither. This is our way of saying we trust you. Yeah! You horrible ingrate! See? That's your chest. That's all you give me. No shit. You should heal. What's her face? Yeah. Oh, 
Fuck him up. I really wish there was like a guard break. <laughs> Beat this old fucker up. No, oh, I tried to dodge it. 20XX of Tales of Bazuria. <laughs> yeah. Sending Nomi not. They took something precious from me. I'll never forgive them for that. The annals of history are stained with evil people like you. you but from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. All to satisfy your own ends. A dark font of malevolence. You're a demon lord. The errant. But she eats demons. I don't think she's really a demon lord. It is the exorcist's duty to destroy you. You talk a lot. How about you keep talking and tell us where Ifrid is? You'll regret this. I can feel he know me not. He's coming. We can fight here no longer. The Enfu, close the rift. I can't. Come forth. Oh shit. It's fucking Ifrid. Wait. Ah. What's up, Zavid? You ruined the moment. Huh? Don't you mean thanks for saving us, Zavid? You're my hero and role model. <laughs> Thank you for saving us, Zavid. Zavid's character has just been like in and out the whole game. Yeah. We're in an Abbey facility on Hexen Isle. I heard Melchior was in charge here, so I snuck in. I hadn't expected an extra dimensional space. Is there a way out? There is now, but I've busted my way in. Let's head outside. We can talk then. Well, I really need a save point, though. <laughs> Who's that? A friend. His name is number one. Oh, Locke says number two. Hey, little guy. Want to come with us? If you stay here alone, a dragon might get you. I bet you wouldn't like that. He yeah. sounds like what's his face? That sounds scary. Great. Come uh. On, what are you, you know the guy who played Kronk? Oh, you gotta go. All right, man. Thanks for chilling with us. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're going to finish it up here anyways pretty soon. It's 9 o'clock. Yeah, but thanks for chilling, man. I hope it's not too confusing. <laughs> More levels. Just levels upon levels. Take a look at this. Yeah, let's go. Oh, pirate flag. Dude, Kresnik Island just looks like a fucking cat. Yeah, it does. Bye, Corden. Yeah. We'll be back on Saturday, Sunday. Scout ship setting sail. All right. I think that's going to do it for us. All right, guys. Well, those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to share this with your friends. Possibly su subscribe if you feel like it's worth it. Don't follow Matt. Um, How do you fall on the chair? <laughs> Uh, be sure to check us out live on Twitch.tv slash TV, where we're playing this game, you know, like, live and stuff. We're also playing Assassin's Creed at the moment. And, uh, I have no idea what we're going to play once we wrap this up. Oh my god, I know, right? Maybe Final Fantasy X? <sighs> Maybe. We could also go, like, we do, like, Final Fantasy VIII or Legend of Dragoon or, you know, do one of those that we've been trying to finish for, like, six years. Yeah, but Final Fantasy X has a remaster. That's true. We'll think about it. We're not quite done with this game yet anyways. We're probably another 10 hours in. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.